Today is my last day in San Diego for now. The past couple of days I have spent in classes, finishing up finals, having some time with good friends, looking at sunsets on Ocean Beach, going to the local market, grabbing some interesting food, saying hello to the hippies. I think I might be one of them. <laughs> Today I climbed sunset cliffs and gazed at the Pacific. I read Mary Oliver to the birds, the sky, the surfers, and the sea. I cried for the first time in months. I cried about my childhood. I cried about my dog. I cried about my history, my past selves, and washed my tears with sandy fingers while the ocean sung me into ease. I feel really grateful for today. I like being alone. Like I don't have secrets to keep. Like I'm allowed to breathe. Like I don't have to put wall after wall in between me and every moment I've ever experienced. I'm excited for more alone time this summer and for forever. That's in human time, of course. I want to find the ladybug again. Where'd you go? That's what happens when you try to get special moments on camera. Nature says, that's not what this is for. Oh. It's actually on the tripod. Come here, buddy. Hi. Aren't they so amazing? I've got a little ladybug on my hands, and nature is beautiful. Me and the sky are gonna go for a walk. It's days like these that remind me why I choose to live in a van, or more broadly, choose to live nomadically. Every day is a potential for adventure. I think a lot of people saw this journey I was taking as something temporary, or labeled it a trip. <laughs> but it's not a trip at all. I think old me would have felt sad that I'm leaving this beautiful place, this beautiful part of the country in the southwest, but now I see that this journey is not temporary. It just is. It's how I'm choosing to live and choosing to spend my days. And what I choose exactly is nature, the quiet, time spent alone, but not really alone. I'm with the birds and the ocean and the ladybug <laughs> and kind people that I choose to spend time with in passing. 
The ocean is so beautiful. And I feel like I could stay here forever. But I know that in moving on, I'm growing and changing. As opposed to becoming stagnant. There's our little ladybug friend along for the journey, along for the adventure. I'm grateful for Mary Oliver and many other poets, really. Anne Sexton, Sylvia Plath, Sylvia being what my van is named after, who my van is named after, I should say. They are all beautiful entities that I carry on my shoulders, these powerful women. They inspire me to choose this life of independence and freedom. And I really do feel that way, free.